Hello everyone, welcome to the Frenzy Games Q&A session for August 2020. I took all the questions that I got from the community during August and I picked the top 20. Let's get started. First question. Why did you remove the tray? It was great to organize pieces, saved a lot of frustration. The tray wasn't removed, but it was it was moved to another kind of game mode. So if you go in settings, you will see that we have two game modes. One is classic and one is pieces tray. If you pick classic, when you play a puzzle, by default you don't get a pieces tray. As you can see here, I can move the pieces freely, but I don't have a pieces tray. Now, if I exit the puzzle, I can go in settings and change the game mode to pieces tray. Now, if I start another puzzle, you will see that all the pieces are now in a pieces tray. Second question, what is the purpose of the daily bonus? In order to explain the purpose of the daily bonus, let's see it first. So if I launch Frenzy Games, so when the game starts, I have the option to pick a card to receive a bonus. This happens only once per day. So the first time when you launch the, day, the, the game during the day, you will have the option to draw one of these cards. So let's pick one of them. As you can see, I got 8,000 8, coins. So why that's important is because coins can be transformed into crowns. So you'll see if you go to your account, here is the, how many coins you have and how many crowns. So every day you can get points, you can convert the points into crowns, and with crowns you can unlock puzzles. Third question. I would like to change my email to my new address. While in the account page, you can go to the edit uh, page and here we have the email address. So in this case, I can change my email address to a Gmail and simply save it. You see that if you open this page again, the email is updated correctly. Question number four. Sorry, about the crowns. I wasn't sure how many to purchase and use. So when purchasing crowns, there are three options. You can purchase 30, 50 or 100. The very important part is that the more crowns you purchase, the less money you pay. So the standard price is $3 for 30 crowns. But as you, when you buy 50, it's already cheaper. If you buy 100, it's way cheaper. And how many you should buy depends on how many crowns you have and what you want to do with them. So in this case, I can see that I already have 30 crowns. Um, so I don't really need to buy any new ones. If I want to purchase this pack, I can purchase it. However, if I would like to buy maybe a more expensive pack or a bundle, if I go to one of the bundles, I can see that the price is 100. So in this case, I cannot purchase it because I don't have enough crowns. So then I would have to go and purchase more. And because I need 100, I cannot pick 30 because that would give me in total 60 crowns, which is still not enough. I cannot purchase uh, 50 because that would be 80. And that's still not enough. So the only option I have is to purchase 100 crowns. So if I purchase 100 crowns, that will cost me $8, and in total I'll have 130 crowns, which means I can get this back. So instead of pay paying 
twelve dollars for purchasing the the bundle uh, using cash. I can purchase crowns first, and that would be cheaper. So in summary, it's totally up to you. Just pick the number of crowns that suit you. Um, and also keep in mind that the more crowns you purchase, the cheaper it gets. Question number five. Let the pieces float where I place them, not migrate to the edges. A year ago, the game was more fun and more challenging. Go back to that mode. So what this uh, customer is referring to is the way pieces are um, automatically snap to one of the one of their existing places in the puzzle when the piece is dropped. So for example, if I take one of these pieces and I leave it on the board, you will see that it moves slightly. And that's because when playing with a tray, we try to make the game more, uh, more simple, so a bit more assisted. This is more appropriate for tablets or people that prefer uh, less clutter. So notice how when I move it next to the edge, it doesn't really stay there, but it jumps straight next to the edge. And that's great when you're, you're solving puzzles, but some players don't prefer it. Now, if you want to turn off this behavior, it's enough to change the game mode. Again, if you go to settings, so you exit the current game, you go to settings, you change the game mode. Now, when you play, let's start another game. You see that all the puzzles are scattered around the board, and when you drop them, they don't move at all. They stay exactly where you place them. So it's a matter of preference. If you would like the pieces to be exactly where you place them, um, use the classic game mode. Question number six. It would be nice to replay puzzles with different amount of pieces and different shape of pieces. I love the, uh, love the puzzles. Thanks. So if we leave one of these puzzles, you will notice that uh, sometimes if you have a finished puzzle, let's try, let's actually try to play one of these puzzles. And here I'm going to use a debugging trick for uh, solving all the puzzle fast. <coughs> so now that the, the puzzle is solved, I can see it here at the bottom of the list. So it shows that the puzzle has been solved with 64 pieces. However, if I want, I can play it again. When I play it again, I can choose to play it with 64 pieces again, or I can pick a completely different um, number of pieces. So I can get 64, 100, 200, or even 300 pieces. Question number seven. What is the use of picking a bonus card if there's no more crowns? So one big confusion about uh, points and crowns is how the rewards work now. So coins, have not replaced crowns. Instead, think of coins as a smaller uh, fraction of crowns. So these two um, work together. So currently, the ratio, the exchange ratio is 50,000 50, coins equals one crown. And, and um, whenever you get a bonus, you can convert them in between. So for example, if you get a 10,000 crowns, 10,000 coins a day, um, you don't have enough to convert it to a crown. But if you accumulate more, more and more coins, at some point you can convert them. So the crowns are not gone. Instead, uh, we have both points, um, uh, coins, and crowns. Question number eight. 
Question number eight. If it's free for a week, you don't need my payment information till after trial period. So what this user is referring to is <clears throat> the way our subscriptions work. So you'll see that in the premium uh, section of the game, you can try the game for free. And the way, uh, let's actually go to more, more details. As you can see here, I have two subscriptions that I can choose. One is a monthly subscription that has one week free trial. One is a yearly subscription that doesn't have any trial, but is significantly cheaper. So when picking one of these subscriptions, you have, um, you have an option. Well, however, if you pick the one that has a trial, you still have to, um, to confirm that you want to start a subscription. And when you're doing that, you have to start, start it using a, a payment method. And all of that uh, side of the business is handled by Microsoft. So the game only communicates to Microsoft, hey, I want to uh, start a, a monthly subscription and for a, a week, this needs to be free. So then Microsoft collects any payment information you give it uh, that can be a credit card, it can be a PayPal account, and so on. But it won't charge you for the first week. So if you decide to only use the free trial, ideally, um, you, start, uh, you start the trial, you give it all the payment informations, and after that you can, you can cancel it during the seven days leading up to the, to the charge after the free trial. So uh, in other words, the payment information is out of the, uh, the control of the game. It's Microsoft that controls it. And if you want to avoid being charged, you just need to remember to uh, cancel the subscription within, within the first seven days. However, if you're happy with the game, you don't have to do anything. Um, you'll experience the full uh, trial. And then when the free trial concludes, your subscription will start and renew automatically. If you pay, play, uh, play the game. Um, this is uh, one of the great options that we have available. And when you're on this page, you can also see an explanation at the bottom of the page. Pretty much everything that I explained now, it's explained uh, at the bottom of the page here. Question number nine. What are the silver buttons and how they're used? So what this user is referring to is the previous design we have for coins. So you can see if we start Frenzy Games. You can see this new design that we have um, for coins it has a, a slightly better uh, layout. So before, these coins looked more like a button. They have a more flat uh, design. Currently, we added a, a pretty star in the center of the, of the coin, which uh, hopefully makes it look more like a, a coin. Uh, this update will be available sometimes next week, so all the games will have this new design. Did not recognize my province, postal code, or country. So what this user is talking about is the payment information in your Microsoft account. So this can be a problem in case you want to purchase and your account is not configured for, configured for purchases yet. In that case, uh, the best option is to go to uh, learn how to purchase and you'll find here instructions of how to fill in all your information. So you want to click on this payment and billing link. That will ask you to uh, log in to Microsoft and then modify all, uh, all the existing address and payment information. So remember, if you want to make any changes on the start page, you go to learn how to purchase and then follow the link payment and billing. Why does continue or keep or exit keep popping up? 
So during the game, let's start the puzzle. So while you play the game, you can always choose to pause the to pause it. The easiest way to do that is to press press on pause. Um, so that's one way to pause the game. However, a simpler way is also to right click. So now I'm going to right click on the on the mouse button, and the game is paused. So if you accidentally press on, uh, you do a right click, then the game is paused. Another way to to trigger this is to press spacebar on your keyboard. So when I press spacebar, the game is also paused. So what can happen is we try to add several ways to pause the game. One is using the button, one is using the, the mouse, and another one is using the keyboard. And if you accidentally press any of these, that you, then you might see the, the pause um, message. Just remember that nothing really bad happened. Uh, you just pause the game so you can continue. Next question. Beautiful puzzles, but I keep looking for more houses and buildings, old or new, perhaps part of cities. Maybe sometime when you can. Thanks. So, if you go to the home page, you'll see that we have a lot of puzzles for sale. And some of these are um, really great. So, for example, if you're looking for more houses and buildings, you can pick um, one of our travel uh, packs. So for example here we have Malaga, you can see a lot of buildings here, uh, other good choices, Florence definitely is a great choice, Prague, uh, pretty much all of these. Now if you want even more, if you can go to the About Us page and we can see that you have a game dedicated only for travel. So Jigsaw Puzzle Journey has a lot, a lot of puzzles with buildings and locations around the world. So this might be a better fit if you're looking for more buildings. Next question. Would like the puzzles to save automatically when closing out? So that's another common question that I get. Usually when playing a puzzle, the game tries to uh, save whenever um, whenever you tell it to. So for example, if I st start this puzzle, and let's say I'm gonna move some pieces. If I wanna leave this puzzle the way, the way it is and do something else, I can simply pause. Now, when I'm pausing the game, you notice first there's a spinner here that says saving the game. I'll do that again. So if I click pause, you see there's a spinner and it says puzzle saved. So as soon as you pause the game, the game is saved. Right? So if I exit now and if I resume the puzzle, I'll find the pieces exactly where I left off. Now, a uh, wrong way of exiting the puzzle which sometimes I've seen players do, is to simply close the application without saving. So for example, if I move these pieces around and I click on the X, right? So this is the uh, Windows way of closing uh, an app directly. So this doesn't give the app the opportunity to save the state. So if I simply click on the X, this won't save. I'll do it right now. So the game was uh, was closed. And if I start again, if I go to my series puzzles, I'll see that the state was not saved. So this uses the previous state that I have saved before exiting the app directly. So in summary, remember to always leave the game using the pause menu if you want it to be saved. Always click on pause, and then when the spinner is gone, you can exit.
Next question. I want to see the picture better after I completed puzzle. All right. So let's pick one of the puzzles. So here I can see uh, some other pieces need to be solved. I'll solve them. So when I'm about to finish, now there's an animation. However, this container at the bottom of the puzzle partially covers the puzzle. And you know sometimes the smaller the screen, uh, the more of the screen it covers. So one way to see more of the puzzle is to simply click on this X button in the top right. So when doing that, the rest of the, the puzzle is revealed. Next question, what is my password? So this is another common question that I get quite often. So when you want to purchase a game, uh, puzzle pack, uh, you're asked to enter a password. So this is the Windows authentication that is trying to make sure that is your game um, and is, it is you that tries to purchase. So in this case, I enter my PIN and I can continue to, um, to purchase the game. However, sometimes people get confused what password this is. So this password is the one that you use for your Microsoft account. It's the same one you use to log into um, Windows Store, to log into Windows, or to Outlook.com. And if you have this question, I will also include it in the Learn articles. So this is one of the top asked questions. So when wondering about the, the password, we have a dedicated tutorial exactly uh, which password we were referring to, and also we have a guide of how to um, recover your password in case you forgot it. You just need to follow all these instructions. Next question. In the past when I bought puzzles, as I finished one, you marked it, so I knew later I had finished that pack, but now you do not mark them or you mix them together. I like to buy a pack and finish it and move on to the next purchase. So recently we also uh, changed the way we marked uh, saved puzzles. We still add the tick box um, on the puzzles. So if I look at this pack, well, before I get started, if you look at this pack, I see an indicator at the top of the screen. So this indicator shows that some of the puzzles have been solved. And when I navigate inside the pack, now we order the puzzles in, uh, in the following order. At the top, you always see the puzzles that you started. So whatever puzzle you may pick, the ones that you started always are moved to the top. In the middle, we have puzzles that you haven't played yet. And at the bottom, we put all the puzzles that you finished. So this is to try to get out of your way puzzles that you already finished. So in case uh, you finish a puzzle, the way to find them is always at the bottom. And if you are working on a puzzle, they're always at the top. Besides that, everything stays the same. Question number 17. Would it be good to have a virtual train the tools column to sort pieces on. would also be good to be able to move groups of pieces in one go. So we showed this before. The way to show to use a tray is to go to game settings, pick the game mode, pieces tray, and then to start uh, a new puzzle. Now you can see the pieces tray and you can move them on the board. 
The second part of the question was about moving uh, more pieces at once. So when you have more pieces like this on the board, you can draw a selection around them, and then you can simply move them. So remember, draw a selection, release it, and now all the pieces are selected. While they are selected, you can just move them. So all the pieces move at once as if you only moved one. Next question. I have completed all the puzzles. Where can I find new puzzles or how can I reset all the puzzles so I can work them again? So that's an excellent question. In case you completed all your puzzles, when you go to my puzzles, you'll see that all of them um, will have uh, indicator that you completed them. However, you can, you can play them again. So in case you go to a pie that you finished, you can click on any completed puzzle and you can play them again. You can see, still get this indicator for the maximum number of pieces that you solved, but you can choose to uh, play with more pieces. So for example, in this case, I finished a 64 pieces puzzle and I could choose to play with 100, 200 or even 300. Now, if you're done with all the puzzles and you want more, you can always go to the today uh, puzzle of the day so here you can play a new puzzle every day and you don't have to pay for it. It's just a free puzzle that we offer to all our players. Or you can go to the store and you can purchase uh, any puzzle pack. We offer a wide variety of puzzles to pick from. If you want even more, you can start a premium subscription and that unlocks all the puzzles. So you'll get, in case of Jigsaw Puzzle Nature, you can get um, close to 800 puzzles. Uh, to play from. Next question. I need more room for pieces around puzzle when completing puzzles. So if we go to any puzzle, um, as I explained before, you can either play with uh, classic mode or with pieces tray. So if I play in classic mode, you'll notice that all the pieces are scattered around the board. And some players don't really like that. Don't, they don't like it because it's too cluttered. So in that case, uh, the simple solution is to go to settings, change to pieces tray. And then when you start a new puzzle, you will see that all the pieces are placed in a virtual tray. And then there is room around the um, around the puzzle where you can place these pieces. So it's much easier to complete the puzzle now. All right, and the last question, how do we use the bonus points? So going back uh, to uh, my account, you can see here that I have uh, 33,000 coins currently, these coins can be converted into crowns. So as soon as you have 50,000, 50, you can convert them for a crown. Currently, because I only have 33,000, uh, I don't have enough to convert them. But keep on playing, keep on getting bonuses, participate uh, in competition, play daily, and then you will get more coins. When you have more coins, you can come here and click on uh, purchasing uh, crowns and then with these crowns you can unlock uh, more puzzles. As you can see currently I have 34 um, crowns which allows me to, to pick pretty much any uh, puzzle pack in the, in the store and purchase it. Alright, so that was the last question. Thank you so much for watching. This was great and it's so good to see so many questions coming through. At the same time, I know that I haven't answered all the questions. You send so many more and I don't have time to always go through all of them. But I do remember them and hopefully we're going to address them in future videos. Thank you again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and have fun solving puzzles.